6.2 radian measure. I am Anil Kumar and here is a question for my student J. For each of the following values of cos x, determine the radian value of x if x is greater than or equal to pi and less than or equal to 2 pi. Right? Note the domain for x. So let's first draw the coordinate plane and what we are looking for that the cosine x has these given values but the angle x is within this part right so it could be from pi to 2 pi right so that is what it is now the first one is that cos of x is equals to minus half now what should be x that is what you need to find so you can actually use uh, special triangles right so you remember 30, 60, 90 triangle that helps to find this answer or you can also use calculator half reminds me of this triangle correct where this angle is pi by 3 now when we are saying that the domain is between pi to 2 pi then it could be anywhere now negative value you know the cost rule right all are positive here, sine is positive here, tan in quadrant 3, and cos is actually positive in quadrant 4. We are looking for negative, that means we are in quadrant 3. Now, pi by 3 is the related acute angle in quadrant 3. So let me just draw one here. So this angle is pi by 3. What we need to find is the principal angle. So what is going to be the principal angle? It is always from positive x-axis. So the principal angle is going to be pi plus pi by 3, right? So our answer will be pi plus pi by 3, which is 3 plus 1, 4 pi by 3. So in this case, the answer is 4 pi by 3. Now, following these steps, I think you should be in a position to answer the next question. We are looking for square root 3 over 2. Basically, we are saying that cos of x is equals to square root 3 over 2. Positive value, that means we are in quadrant 4. Now, in quadrant 4, what is the acute angle? To find the acute angle, you can again draw the special triangle. Right? The same special triangle can work for you. When you say cos x is square root 3 by 2 then your special triangle we have 1 2 square root 3 right now cos pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2 therefore we can write x is equals to pi by 6 now I should not say x is equal to I should say related acute angle alpha is equals to pi by 6 now what is x now in this particular case let me redraw this one okay so in this particular case what we're talking about is positive value that means we are somewhere here right now we found that this acute angle is pi by 6 what is the principal angle principal angle is like that correct which is 2 pi minus pi by 6 do you get the idea right so that is to say 12 pi minus pi over 6 that is 11 pi over 6 so that is the angle theta you're looking for right so in this case the answer is theta equals to 11 pi by 6 now what I have done here is that I have created a question for you so the next video is kind of similar but with sine x right so I like you to solve the next question yourself that will ensure that you have really understood thank you and all the best